Hello, I'm Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose. It is January 7, 2018, 9.32 p.m. in Birmingham. And topic, and we're talking about forget soft disclosure. Forget that word. Don't just throw it, throw it away. Get rid of it. Disclosure. In so many ways, we have disclosure. Ways that we don't like. In ways that we should really pay attention to. In things that are happening, the things that's going to happen. Disclosure, period. Look, on Fox, they already talked about disclosure taking place. And 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 actually did this now. And this was interesting to me. Admitted Roswell... 47 crash of a UFO. Admitted that. Admitted 2002 of F-18s chasing UFOs. And them, now the speed has changed for 7,000 miles an hour. And when I came up and I told you, if you if you recall, I took a, a, well, a light, a laser light. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And take it in the flip of your wrist and you stand out in the field, turn that baby on, sit over here behind me, flip your wrist as quick as you want, up and down the side of a thousand foot long train. You can make that laser beam in your hand travel in excess of 20 to 30,000 miles an hour. Well, guess what? They can make a hologram do the same thing. Yes. Those F-18s, more than likely, we're chasing holograms. And especially when you have a UFO that bursts and hundreds come out of one. And then you have dozens that go back into one. All over Mexico, this is going on. Forget it. It's disclosure, period. But there's a lot to say about the things that are up there that we take for granted. Now, are they real? And when I say up there, I'm talking about the moons and the rings, the things in the sky, okay? For example, the rings of Saturn. I heard weeks ago where I found and read or listened to a blog and watched the pictures, a gentleman found on Hubble blurred pictures that had been taken of the rings of Saturn. The, the rings weren't blurred, but one particular spot in each ring was blurred. Man, that's an understatement. Let me let you hear what John Lear says about the blurred rings of Saturn. And, and to hear this, it'll blow your mind. But I want you to, uh, just briefly, I want you to hear what John Lear says that that are well you're here here we go john lear he got a hold of some of the voyager photos of uh, saturn and began examining them and what he found was in the rings of saturn there were these craft crafts that uh that the, the rings of saturn emanated out of the back of the craft and the crafts were uh 30,000 miles long and 2,400 miles in diameter, and you're talking about the fairly large craft. Man, 30,000 miles long for a spacecraft? I'll go on record and tell you I don't believe it. And they're, they're, they're radiating a ring out behind it as it moves along. Well, now let's go back to the book of Enoch. What does he say about that? God put his angels in the skies for what? For us, you and I. And he put them in, in the skies for signs. What are the signs for? They're for you and I. Everything that God did, he did for man. The blood moons, signs in the sky, that's for Israel. In some cases, they're good. Some cases, they're bad. And then eclipse, a full eclipse across the country that it goes over brings bad news. 
of partial eclipse is something different. And then you have seasons. You have, in other words, Enoch saw in what he was told the angels that God placed in the skies or the things that we see today. But there's a couple of new ones here that kind of throw a curve at you. And that is, and let me go to this. You don't, you don't, you don't believe it, but let me, let me go here. Um, China found on the moon the most astonishing space discovery ever. John Lear says there's a quarter billion people living in great cities on the moon. He also said there's no such thing as a dark side of the moon. He said the dark side, the side that we never see, is as light as a side that we see. And I, I could understand that. But what Lear says about the rings and Saturn, how large they are, the craft, 30,000 miles long, Enoch didn't describe it as that. He described them as angels placed by God. But then there was another gentleman just a few weeks ago that was going over some old Hubble telescope pictures, and he found some, the rings of Saturn, but he found spots in the ring, one spot in each ring. He said he couldn't tell how big it was. He didn't say it was giant, but he did say it looked like a blurred out UFO. And he came up with the size or the, the shape of like a pecan. So oblong. But he said he saw one in each ring. That could be angels placed there by God to keep their place. Keep in mind, when we have disclosure, toward the end of that disclosure is when we get slam dumped with all this crap, then that's when the stars are from the sky. That's when the angels leave their positions. That's when they come down here. Now, why are they coming here? Well, they're up there most that will fall or there is punishment from falling in another time, probably before our time. How, how reptilians shape shift. This is this Stephen Greer talks all about that. John Lear talks about the moon that is a man made or being made structure that was made on the planet Jupiter and was tugged around space until he found a place to park it. <laughs> Do you believe it? I don't. Because when God said, I made the lesser light for the night, and that's the moon, and the brighter night for the day, that's the sun. I believe what God says about that, not what John Lear says, and not what Stephen Greer says. And let me tell you what else. We have John, uh, Tom Horn and Steve Quayle been warning us for ages to get ready for this time about what they're doing under the ice. They're making things under the ice. And I dare to say Nimrod is growing his cloven feet about now, or who's rather. And you have Gary Stearman that's been there forever warning us about this day. And L.A. Marzulli telling us, look, these are merging this alien and man, they're merging. They're, well, like CRISPR-Cas9. They're changing the DNA. And, and God, <laughs> guys, I can go on for a long time. And you know that. I can go on a long time, right? And, and, but I don't want to because there's so much going on, so much going to go on, and it's just going to. What can I say? It's, it's slowly going to get worse. And as that happens, people are going to become more and more afraid of what are they afraid of. They're afraid of the end days. What's going to happen in the end, end days? Well, you know what's going to happen in the end days as well as I do. A lot of people are going to be left behind. There'll be a rapture of the church. 
to be taken up. Matthew 24, 24 is here. But people are ignoring the signs. All these signs, people aren't looking at. They're not paying attention to. They're coming. They're here. What are you going to do with it? It's upon you right now. What are you going to do with it? Well, I don't know. Except we got a thing called the Bible. It's a how-to. Not only is it how-to, what if? Yes, what if? And it's got do this. It tells you to keep oil in your lanterns. It tells you to keep your eyes open. It tells you to be aware of the night. It tells you to be aware of all your surroundings all the time. And be worthy not to be left behind. Be worthy. Keep an eye watching because at a time when you think not is the time when you'll hear uh, one of two things. Your name called with a gentle voice and come up here. Or you're going to hear the loudest damn clap of thunder you ever heard in your life. Those who will be left behind will hear that clap of thunder. Those who will be raptured with the church will hear your name called in a gentle voice. And then all these things, Nimrod and all his minions, minions, and those who fall from heaven, the angels coming out of River Euphrates. Like my daughter said, they're going to come out so fast, they're going to shoot hundreds of miles up in the sky and then settle down and people are going to bow and look, we got something coming and they come down and tell us we're your creators we made you a long time ago but now we're coming back you need help and we're here to help you bs again one verse matthew 24 24 be not deceived <laughs>